morning. Hey, Kin Dolls, it's me, Kin. So, as y'all read by the title, I will be doing a day in a life as a pharmacy technician. I've been seeing these videos and it was a sign for me to do it, y'all. I've been a tech for almost a year now, come January 2022. I have work 11 to 6 today. It is the weekend. I just got out of church, so I went home and I came straight here. It's 11 o'clock on the dot and my shift is from 11 to 6. The pharmacy is only open for 7 hours on Sunday. So, it's just going to be me and one of the tech and then it's going to be my pharmacist. I don't know who we have today because I've been on vacation week this previous week. Week. the only thing that y'all can't really hear or see is whenever I'm like talking to a patient or the pharmacist comes over and she counsels them or certain phone calls like you know what I'm saying I can't violate HIPAA policies so I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet and like brief when I get inside um, but I will show y'all around and show y'all my duties and like what I do throughout my shift um, what do I do to close up and things like that so if y'all are interested in today's video stay tuned and let's get into it okay so the very first thing I do is walk to the back and wash my hands just because we have very close contact to the pills or whatever and you know you just gotta go into the shift with clean hands anyways and now I'll walk over to the main computer and print out my RDAC. And an RDAC is basically where it's a badge where I have access to all the systems and everything like that. Especially to like override and scan in my name and stuff. So yeah, that's me a little struggling a little bit. <laughs> and soon as like... I print out my RDAC, the phones are off the chain because we just opened and like people are calling making sure their stuff is ready for their day and things like that. So I'm just answering and filling as I go and just grabbing the drugs, whoever called, called, I print out their name, you know what I'm saying? And I just get it ready. Yeah, because you just take one every morning, correct? Okay, let me revise that real quick and I'll be able to... No, you're perfectly fine. It's telling me that the coverage is asking for a 90 day. Let me try to switch it in and see real quick. Alrighty y'all, so now I'm just pulling some stuff so I can fill it. It makes it a lot quicker once I pull all of my drugs and then I lay them out over the counter and kind of have a little cycle going here. I don't know, it gets really hard whenever you just pull as you go and it's just less effective. So I like to pull what I need, especially like the waiters, aka like the people that are in the drive-thru, in the store, or things like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just pulling all those, set them on my counter so I can get going. Now as you can see, I'm just about to scan in and fill as I go. Um, I'm so lucky that this pharmacy has an actual icon because I know most places have like uh, the hand counter so it basically does it for me which is really cool and convenient and it's really really effective I'd be moving y'all <laughs> I really do be moving but yeah I don't know I just thought I should mention that because I've heard a lot of pharmacies that has the hand counter but nothing on them no y'all go but I love the fact that this pharmacy has the icon. And I'm also not loving the fact that I look so focused. This is how I really look at work, y'all. <laughs> okay, guys, so more people are starting to come in drive through so I'm about to work that for a little bit while the pharmacist, I guess, does the front and, like, stuff out of pre stuff that I need that people either in the store that needed something or that called and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. You have your license for... There's your license. I'm gonna have you sign at the bottom, and it's gonna be $33.99. All right, your change is $6.01. You have a blessed day. Thank you. I appreciate the blessing. No problem. Hopefully my line's not too long. I don't think much is behind him. But Y'all, Haley is my favorite cashier on earth. Hi. Day in the life. You know it. Hey y'all. I'm Haley. 
I work up front. <laughs> my head looks so big. Okay. Too anyway. Okay, this is my friend Haley. Oh, you got your braids done. She looks so good, guys. Can you check me out up here or no? Of course I can. You can't for real? I didn't know y'all could do though. <laughs> y'all, we died down. Usually it's like it's busy up there. Okay, yeah, it's busy up there, but y'all, I'm glad I didn't vlog during the weekday because we be getting slapped. It's only because it's Sunday I get to do this. That's why I did it today. Anyway. <laughs> okay, I can check you out. Come over here. Yeah, so y'all, I'm like big chilling. I actually get to catch up. As soon as it, oh, it just turned three. Yeah, I'm about to clean up and do some return socks that I was telling y'all about. All right, you guys, I'm pretty much done fooling for the shift today. Maybe whoever comes in and their stuff isn't ready, then I'll get it ready. But I'm just gonna clean my little console here. Um, and then I'm gonna start pulling some scripts to do the return of stocks. I get all in here too. All right, y'all, so now that I have my printout of what's actually in return of stock, and all return of stock basically is, is where customers just don't pick up their medications. So it goes to this thing called return of stocks, and that could be something that someone else needs. So it's really important that we try to keep up with this day to day, um, or at least we try to, especially on the weekend, because like I previously said, during the weekday, it gets real crazy. But yeah, that's all I'm doing is pulling that. Now I'm just bringing it over to my counter to just get it all organized and then I start that process just taking the old labels off, putting the new labels hey, on. Girl, like, oh my God, gonna have crazy. <laughs> I walked into today like, oh, I wonder who's here. And I was like, wait, it's just me and Trish. Kroger Pharmacy, how can I help you? Okay, yeah, it's already in progress. I can finish that up for you. No, sir, I still have it on there that I can use. And you can pick it up today or tomorrow. Today we close at six, tomorrow we close at nine. Okay. All right, no problem, have a good day. No one's home. All right, you guys, so the pharmacy is literally a mess. We've been working um, from like 11 to 6. It's currently like 5.17. So I'm about to clean up in a second. Um, I've just been working drive through. This is my little area right here um, where I've been standing and then I'll just go and grab the medicine. But yeah, so I'm about to just clean up and answer drive through. Whoever pulls up, pulls up. Um, but I, I just normally do that like the last hour as I'm cleaning and I just go back and forth. And then all of this right here, that's just uh, stuff that I have to put in the back. And then all of these bags right here, I need to bag up and then put over here. And then I also need to combine bags that have the same color and number that can be, you know, combined to like save bags and things like that. It goes all the way back there too. I'll let y'all know whenever we're closing up and things like that. And then we're going to get out of here, period. Because it's literally 518 now. 519, sorry. But girls is tired, ready to go home. Today was a chill day though, like I told y'all. Sunday is normally like not that bad. People at home, people get out of church, people go out to eat. Like it's, it's chill. Now I'm about to begin putting away new inventory and technically this is just our supplies like our vials, our capsules, our papers for the label and things like that. Um, we don't actually get inventory in unless it's Monday through Friday. Um, we don't get on the weekend but yeah I'm just doing that, putting that away. Now I'm about to get some supplies because since we are about to leave, I like to stock up the drawers for the technicians in the morning. So this is the 16 um, vial. I'm gonna just open this up. That way everything will be stocked in the morning. Let me tell y'all, whenever I get this box out at the end of the night, that means it's almost time to go home. Let me just say that. Because I normally don't bring this out until like 15 or so minutes before closing. Just because if I were to open, I wouldn't want the drawer to be like halfway empty as well. Like, you know? Okay, now that to 
today was like low key smooth selling. I low key want to film on a busy day, but I don't know how much content y'all will get that day because when we get crazy, we get crazy. And that's like, especially on a Monday when Dark Star is, you know, opening back up and stuff like that. Like, it'd be World War III in here. I'm not even lying. Like, for real, for real. Like, no one really did the most today. No one cussed me out. Um, no one cried. We was Gucci. We, we was good. I don't think I would ever film on a weekday just because it'd be that bad. And we already short on technicians, so yeah, no. Another thing would be nice is if we had an insurance consultant here just to deal with insurance. I'm like, yeah. what if we had nothing to do with it? We would be living our best life, y'all. Like, I guess some patients like genuinely think that we can handle a lot of the insurance stuff, but we can only fix so much to a certain extent. And we tell them that, like we let them know, like, okay, I'll be able to do this and you know, whatever. But, um, no. Sometimes I wish we just had one specific person to deal with all of that. But unfortunately, everybody do it. The pharmacists, the technicians, everybody. Y'all, it's getting super close to the end of the night. Your girl is about to close the gates because I'm so ready to go. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. It hasn't even been that much of a bad day. It was honestly really good. But, but yeah, y'all. I chose the right day to film. Let me just say that, honey, because. Mm. Now I'm just going to be throwing away the vials that the pharmacist used for the vaccines. Wipe down my area and then my last icon. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. If it's a little like chopped here and there, and if I'm like talking and then something else happens, it's only because of HIPAA policies, like stuff that was going on, or like I was on the phone, or like the pharmacist, like different conversations, stuff like that. But I let y'all know that early in the intro, so y'all knew that already. But let me know if you want a part two to this, or if you want me to do more in general. I love y'all, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Kenny Nova is out.